let's go through setting up a stereo net before we plot anything on it. To create a stereo plot, we need our stereo net. We need tracing paper. And we need a thumbtack, like this one. We want to be able to rotate the tracing paper around over on top of the stereo net. So, and we want to rotate it around the center or origin of the stereo net. So I'm going to go ahead and create a hole here in the center. Put the thumbtack up through that hole, uh, right through the origin of the stereo net. And then I can put the tracing paper right on top of it. Okay, now I can rotate the tracing paper around the stereo plot. Okay, before we draw anything, we first want to draw the primitive circle on our tracing paper. The primitive circle, drawing the primitive circle is useful because it makes it a lot easier to read the stereo plot once we've finished making it. Sometimes a step can be a bit tedious, but believe me, it's, it's important to be able to clearly read and understand a stereo plot once it's been made. Okay. Uh, now I'll mark where north is on my stereo net, and I'll also mark the other cardinal directions as well. So now I can orient objects on my stereo net. As a quick reference, north is 0, 0, 0, east is 90, south is 180, west is 270, and north again is also 360. So now if I tell you a direction, say that uh, some, uh, some feature like a line has a bearing in the northeast quadrant, you can actually locate where that is. It's going to be somewhere in this part of the stereo net. 